Why is not even trying? If you don't mingle, you stay single. These guys know that I'm the job. No, you should say thank you. You don't know yet, but I'm doing you a big favor. Oh. A new show to add to your PVR list, Kim's Convenience, premieres tonight at 9 p.m. on CBC. It is set downtown near Regent Park and ex explores the lives of Korean-Canadian family running a small store. I had a chat with two of its stars earlier today. First off, how are you feeling that the show actually premieres tonight? Canadians finally get to see it. Excited. Yeah, very excited. I mean, last week being pushed because of the baseball game. What an amazing game it was, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Um, it's just, it, it's built up an extra week of uh, uh, anticipation. Mm -hmm. And to finally, after an entire summer of shooting, to finally have the night where we can share it with the rest of the nation. We're, we're very excited. Yes. Um, Jean, I wanted to ask you, you call this a role of a lifetime. Yes. How come? Um, because uh, in this role with Omma, I get to explore a whole range of, of emotions, of intentions, of motivations. I have a private life. I have a beautiful scene partner to work with. The writing is amazing. It's super fun. I'm also channeling my mom and all the other Korean ajimas, all the other Korean women that I've known over the years. And it's incredibly, um, it feels like a, a huge fun responsibility but also very exciting. And that's what I wanted to ask you guys about because so much of this show is about the contrast of perspectives between first-generation Canadian kids and their immigrant parents. So did you reflect on your childhood growing up for your character as the father in the show? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And the one thing that I realized was uh, when I was a kid, I wanted so much to just fit in and to assimilate. And back when I was growing up, it wasn't cool to be of a different culture. You had to be Canadian. And nowadays, there's more of a push, there's more of a desire to sort of embrace your heritage and to share it and to finally give a voice to a community that's been underserved or for an entire generation of people that have been um, relegated to the background and not able to see their stories. Even though we're Korean, it's a very universal sort of uh, theme of family, um, old school versus new school that we're presenting on stage and it's an incredible opportunity and we're both very, I mean, everybody's over the moon with the work that we've done and the, finally the chance to sort of speak up. And you guys chose to play your characters with accents and you have some fun with some stereotypes. Why was that important to you? Most Koreans who come here, the, the first generation that, that that have come here, they don't have perfect English. A lot of them speak English well. Um, there's a huge range in terms of, of, uh, of uh, pronunciation and, and uh, English ability. But for the most part, there is that generation uh, has has an accent and to be authentic mm -hmm. we need to actually be speaking in the voice of the characters that we're portraying. Having an accent doesn't make it a stereotype at all. Like nobody asks that question of Meryl Streep or or whoever, Daniel Day-Lewis, whatever character they're, they're doing, or all the Australians who you don't even realize are Australians until you see them on, on some talk show. Nobody ever says, hey, you're doing an accent, is that a stereotype? It's just another aspect, a layering of character and of detail and authenticity. It's a very, very um, subtle thing when you're watching TV all your life and you don't see yourself reflected on the screens. You don't realize it's missing until you actually see it. So if, if we can inspire more people of color to, to explore these talents, to come to the foreground and to really tell their stories, and you know, they can be just as Canadian as anybody else who was born here. You know, the only difference is the color of skin and maybe your, your, your heritage, your background, mm -hmm. but you're still Canadian through and through. So you should be allowed to be seen, to be visible and to be heard. And to be proud, yes. to be proud of it. We are kimchi eaters, you know, like, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> And the big premiere is tonight. Remember, there is a double dose for us, two back-to-back -back episodes starting at 9 o'clock. Watch it right here on CBC Television.